Welcome to our Yu-Gi-Oh! Progression Series, where each week, Supermaster K1 and myself will open a new Yu-Gi-Oh! Booster product to add to our collections and upgrade our decks, to try and win a best 2 out of 3 match at the end of each episode. With the winner getting a spin on our winner's wheel, we can upgrade our decks further, or possibly shake things up on our ban list. But without any further ado, let's jump into this week's episode. Today, we will be opening Hidden Arsenal 2, released July 15, 2010. This set added support for archetypes from the last Hidden Arsenal set while adding some new cards as well, like Dewalrin, Tiger King of the Ice Barrier, Alupian FTK Machine, Miss Valley Apex Avian, an Omni Negate that would see greater success later in its life, and Fabled Valkyries, the boss monster for the new Fabled archetype that easily enabled their discard effects to allow you to draw cards, but one would stand above them all, Naturia Beast. With its non once per turn ability to negate spell cards for the low cost of milling two cards, decks would change up their tuner lineup just to fit them in. Will me and Bell be able to stock up in a hidden arsenal? Let's find out. Alright, we finally got a dub again. I mean, I'll take it, I'll take it. Yes, it was against a deck that probably overstayed its welcome, but you know, that's fine. Well, I'll take what I can get. So let's see what we can get for this week's prize. I actually don't know what I want off of this. Secret Wild Card doesn't really do much for me since the last set was a gold series, but that means we get anything from the set to pick from, I guess. Let's go to the set and figure out what we want. Alright, uh, what do we want from this pack? Like, we, we got everything we wanted. I don't, I don't know what else I could really grab. You know what? I don't remember how much Prisma I pulled. I don't know how much Archfiend I pulled. So let's grab an Infernity Archfiend just for the fun of it. And I will see you for Hidden Arsenal 2. It all went according to plan. Um, so we are back here talking about Hidden Arsenal 2. So what is there to say more about Hidden Arsenal? Um... We get some more interesting archetypes in Hidden Arsenal 2 than what we did in Hidden Arsenal 1. Uh, excuse me. Um, Fabled's make their appearance here. Fabled's are cards that want to be discarded, so they pair really well with Dark Worlds. Um, I don't know if Fabled's early were very good, but that's to be seen. We also have more Mist Valley stuff with their boss monster, Mist Valley Apex Avian. Some will say, isn't it Thunderlord? No. It's Apex Avian. Um, mainly because Apex Avian becomes very important later on in flu strategies, but it also does kind of pop up here and there every once in a while. It's a good card. It's a pretty good, decent card. It's an Omni Negate um, that just bounces itself if need be. So it's pretty decent. Um, but the Synchro Monster is kind of where it's at. Also, we get Dinosaurs. Uh, the Jirax are here. They're not that good. If I'm being honest, they're not the best. Um, but we're here for the Synchro Monsters. Ally of Justice Field Marshal is another uh, generic 9. Um, if it blows up a face, if it blows up a set monster, um, you just draw a card. Straight up. That's pretty good. Dewalrin is here. Dewalrin breaks the Icebreaker, uh, the Ice Barrier um, Synchros by requiring non tuner water monsters. Um, but it's pretty good. You bounce any number of set card or face any number of face up cards you control to your hand, and then it gets buffed. So if you have a decent board state, or if you amass tokens, um, it just gets buffed up by a 500 for each one. You get pretty big and out of control. Uh, Fabled Valkyrius needs a Fable Tuner or non uh, Tuner monsters. Discard a card, or yeah, you just discard a fiend type monster, draw a card, turns on all your fabled's. Pretty good. I'm not going over any Gen X card, they're all bad. Uh, we will never play Gen X in this series ever. Um, Naturia Leo Drake is just a earth synchro monster, it requires earth tuner, requires non tuner earth monster, does nothing, does literally nothing. It is a vanilla synchro monster. Um, Naturia Beast is really good. Um, when a spell card is activated, you can mill two and then negate it. That is not a once per turn. That is not a once per turn. You can just keep, if your opponent's on a lot of spells, you can just keep negating them by just milling cards. 
Um, Miss Valley Thunderlord, realistically, we won't be playing this either, but we'll talk about it. Um, requires a non tuner Miss Valley monster, and you can select the card to control, bounce back to your hand, gains 500. It is basically like Dewalrin, but requires it to target Miss Valleys. Or no, it's just one card anyway. So yeah, it's pretty much just Dewalrin, but it's harder to get out. Uh, then you have Jurac uh, Giganoto. Uh, requires dinosaur monsters for its non tuners. All face ups gain 200 attack for each Jurac in your graveyard. Not the worst thing, but it is what it is. Um, and there are super rares. There's not a whole lot to talk about. There's Miss Valley Falcon, which kind of um, comes back a lot. It's basically Panther Warrior, but a bit better because you could just bounce the card to your hand instead of sacrificing it. Um, Velo is their tune. No, it's not their tuner. What is the direct tuner that's in this set? Is it Monolof? Is it Monolof? I can't tell. Yeah, it is. Monolof is their tuner. Um, we have more Flamvels. We have Flamvel Baby. But other than that, like, the Naturias are all here. Naturia Rock, Beetle, Antjaw. What is the Naturia tuner in this set? Oh, it's Cosmo Beat. Oh, it's all these. All these down here. Okay, yeah, no. If I sound like I don't know what the hell's going on, I don't care for Hidden Arsenal. But it is what it is. It does have important synchro monsters. So with all that said and done, let's get into the openings. We have th five packs of Turbo Pack 3. Almost flipped up right there. Um, there's a lot in Turbo Pack 3 that we want. Caius is a big one. Um, Dark Graffer is another one. So let's see what we got. Tolikanth is in here. That's very interesting. As well as War Chariot. Morphtronic Cellphon at Super. Amazing. This was a common, wasn't it? Uh, we've got his, his... Ritiari. Okay. Don't remember that one, but okay. Um, Regara. Uh, Kaiku. Last pack. Nothing. Alright, on to Hidden Arsenal 2. Gen X Solar is a whatever card. It's a Gen X. It, it's bad. It's bad because it's a Gen X. Um, some Churia stuff's in here, which is interesting. Uh, that's the same secret rare twice in a row. Uh, there's the Walren. It's pretty good. That we just we just want one ups of all the synchro monsters. If I'm being honest with you, I don't, that is the third Cosmic Gateway. Christ alive. There's Beast. All right, we're we're getting there. We're getting there. There's Windmill Gen X. Unfortunate, but he's there. Thermal Gen X. Chariot Guardian is a card. Another Chariot Guardian. It's a... that shows you with the Ice Barrier is a just look. I'm gonna be front with you. Most of these cards suck. Another Dwarren. Um, there's Tyrannus, which is really funny. Is there really any other Synchros I want out of this Worm Queen? That's fine. Fourth Cosmic Gateway. Now that's like our fifth Solar. There's a Charia Leo Drake. Another Tyrannus. Our seventh Solar. Another Charia Beast. That's pretty good. And Apex Avian! Hell yeah! How many Solars did we open? Only four? We only opened four? Okay. What Synchros do we miss out on? We didn't get Fable Fuck Curious. We didn't get Foul Valley Justice Field Marshal. Realistically, we're not going to be playing either of these. So, um, yeah. I say mission accomplished. Add that to the collection. Let's move on the deck building. We gotta, gotta put the frogs to rest. So let's see what we can put together. All right, here we are with 24 packs of Hidden Arsenal 2. Let's go. There's two things I want from this pack, and there's one of them, Naturia Beast. The other one is Apex Avian. This Valley Apex Avian is good in some win strategies later. There's a Dulorin. And I saw a Jurat Giganoto. There's a second Naturia Beast. You know, if I don't pull Apex Avian, I will have to keep this pull just for the sake of two Naturia Beast. Three Naturia Beast? F Four? I mean, I'm keeping these pulls, but that's bizarre. So I will now see you for the deck build? Here we are with the deck and...
it's the same deck minus one Royal Oppression. Wait a second, we banned Royal Oppression, didn't we? It's the same deck minus Royal Oppression. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little bit dumb, but that's fine. It's that kind of morning. You guys will have to forgive me for that. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm going to force Black Wings for as long as I can get away with it. That That's how this is going to work. So I will see you in the duels, and let's hope that we can do something with it this week. Okay, so this is what we're taking into Hidden Arsenal 2. Now, you might be wondering, this has nothing to do with what we just opened. You'd be correct, because Hidden Arsenal 2 is dog shit. Aside from Dewalrin and Naturia Beast, which we're not really going to try yet. We don't really have what we need for those yet. But what we do have is, I believe, we are in a good enough place to play Frognark. Otherwise known as Frog Monarch. And the main reason for that is, right now, Treeborn is still at 2. It's not limited to one. We have access to Swap Frog. We will also have access to Ronin Totem. The Ronin Totem is kind of just here. Um, kind of bring up the Swap Frog to dump another tree born, stuff like that. That way we can facilitate our one tribute monsters and if need be, our one true tribute in Light and Darkness Dragon. So let's go over the card by card a little bit. So we have three Dark Dust Spirit. Dark Dust Spirit is a just a dark hole. It's a dark hole on a body. So having this at three in here, just summoning it, and then um, when it's normal summon, destroy everything else in play. So it's an easy 2200 damage if Bell doesn't have any back row. So pretty good all around. Uh, Gores is our realistically our only hand trap. Um, it's fine as is. It's going to be here for a while. Light and Darkness Dragon is a very powerful monster. It has two tributes, which I feel like we can facilitate running in this kind of a deck where we're always able to have monsters in play. Either be it through Treeborn Frogs or doing the Swap Frog Ronin Toad and stuff. All in all, I feel like we'll be able to get away with it. Um, we have two Mobius, two Ryza, just because we have them. Um, I'd rather see them than not. Um, as well as the one Ronin Toad, we have the Raikou, which is just... It's just a good card. Just flip, destroy anything at the cost of just milling three, which ain't bad. We could mill a Treeborn Frog if we're lucky. Um, Sangan to search up things like Yadagarasu, Treeborn, even the uh, Swap Frogs. Uh, but yeah, speaking of bird, we have Yadagarasu just in case. Maybe we might be able to Yada Lock Bell. If we can possibly, possibly get it off it'd be the funniest thing ever i think we've done it once before i might be wrong we may have done it once before i have to go back and look and then we have the ones they worked around on our monsters and for our spell and traps we have a lot of just i'm going to take what is yours and do that with things like brain control we have soul exchange we have enemy controller just a lot of good things overall Part of me wants to put in Mausoleum of the Emperor, but I don't want to give Bell that same level of an advantage if they're also on a similar tribute strategy, especially if they come back with Black Wings and they can just pay a thousand, play Elfin, play Soroko, stuff like that if need be. So, mm, I'd rather just not have that. Dark Hole for board clearing, Giant Trinade for board resetting, uh, Triple Instant Fusion to give us access just to tribute material because we can. So I have three practical in here because I think it's funny. Uh, shout out to the McDonald's promo. Uh, Last Will to kind of float off of a tribute summon um, into another monster. I think it would be pretty good. Um, there's not a whole lot we can float into. Probably just another Treeborn or another Swap Frog or maybe Spirit Reaper. Um, this will space Typhoon to have our one off um, Spawn Trap Destruction. Pot of Greed is Pot of Greed. Premat to maybe resurrect a monster to use it for tribute material if we don't have anything in our hand. Uh, I mentioned the Triple Soul Exchange, Double Bottomless Trap Hole, One Ring of Destruction, One Solemn, and One Torrential Tribute. Our sideboard is getting a little interesting. So we have Triple Dust Tornado in case Bell's on heavy back row. Shadow Imprisoning Mirror, just in case they're on Black Wings again. They may not be, but just in case. No Men of Cross Out to, if they're on any, like, set shenanigans, maybe we can snuff them out before they get too heavy. 
Uh, Trouble My Body is a shield to protect our tribute monsters if need be. The third enemy controller in the sideboard, just in case. Just in case. Prime Material Dragon is pretty good. Um, this is another one tribute monster with a built in negate. It's during either player's turn, when a card effect attributed to destroy a monster on the field, you can send a card from your hand to grab it again and destroy it. So things like Dark Hole, things like. Um, I can't say Geki, Geki's still banned. Um, but just anything that would destroy monsters, period, be it ours or a wiping effect, we just negate it. And Vanity's Fiend to turn off any special summon shenanigans. Um, I kind of just put more things in the extra deck just to kind of bluff out because we don't have any other tuners in here. So it's kind of a bluff. So, yeah, no. Um, I think this deck can work. I think it may need some more tuning. But I'm not certain. I want to see how it performs first before I make any changes. And with that being said, let's get into the duel. Okay, Belle. Did you go back for your second wave of a hidden arsenal? Yes. Uh, I got some baffling pulls, but you know, that's fine. I mean, look, this was like a three-card set. I mean... Like a two-card set. What, what would the third card be? Gen X controller. Like Oh yeah, controller. Oh, wait, no, I, controller's I, wait, controller's not in this set. It was in the last oh. set. Yeah, so it's a two card set. It's Apex, Avian, and Beast. Yeah. Well, actually, no, three card, Dualoran. Oh yeah, Dualoran. Uh, fun fact: I only pulled two out of those three cards. Damn. I didn't get Apex, Avian, but that's fine because Apex, Avian's only useful in like. Flu. Some strategies, yeah, f specifically flu. Yeah. And Liralisk. And Liralisk. <laughs> I mean, look, those are all strategies that come out later. Yeah. Yeah. Don't ask how many beasts I pulled, though. It's a weird amount. Seven. Four. Oof. I was like, okay, they keep coming. This is one of the hands of all time. All right. I mean, same here. Hmm. I don't like the way I have to play out this hand, if I'm being honest with you. I mean, that's entirely fair. Two... to three... Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do it this way. I'm gonna do it this way. I'm just gonna summon Bora. Okay. And then... And then I'm gonna sit here. <laughs> uh... I can do... Okay, I have two plays here. Alright. Uh, what what's the play here? I'm gonna play it safe. I'm gonna I'm gonna play it safe. Ooh, ooh, I don't like that. Ooh, I'm not a fan of that. Uh, I love the sound of car alarms going off. The song of my people. Yeah. I don't know who my people are in this case, but you yeah. know it's fine. So I'm gonna tribute that off. <laughs> Ryza. Oh. And Not a fan of that. And we're gonna put that back on the top. Okay. I'll take the 24. You're playing Frog Narc, aren't you? I am. Gosh dang it, why didn't I see this coming? Because this deck's been around for a little bit, and I'm only playing it now. That's fair. Uh... You know what? Let's do something funny. Brain control your Ryza. Okay. I'll tribute it for Elf and the Raven just to get it off field. You got greedy. Why did, why did you do this? Why you gotta do this to me? Because you got greedy. I just wanted to get Ryza off field. That's not really all that greedy. Oh, this is gonna be really funny. You know, should I just go ahead and hit admit defeat? Like, what am no. I doing here? <laughs> no, you're not gonna hit. You're not gonna hit admit defeat yet. Why not? Cause <clears throat> I got something funny planned. Uh, anyways, mystical right. space typhoon popping preem. Uh, swizzle sticks. That's why I'm not hitting admit defeat. Mm. I have an idea. I'm gonna normal summon out Swap Frog. Okay. Trigger Swap Frog. All right. I'm gonna bin 
Treeborn Frog. That's smart, yeah. And I'm gonna hit you for a thousand. Okay. I don't like this play. Normal Kalut. I can just attack you to fight. Special Bora. Oh, okay. Because I would rather have more stuff on field at this point. True. Uh, hit into your swap, take seven. And then hit direct for 14. Yep. Alrighty. Alright, uh, during my standby... I was hoping you would forget. <laughs> no. Uh, bring out Treeborn. We're gonna pay a thousand. Activate instant fusion. Right. Yo, what? <laughs> Summon practical. What are... Tribute. Light and darkness dragon. Huh. Uh, <laughs> that is baffling to me, but yeah, I guess. <laughs> I mean, hey. It's it, something. It's how it's it gets... Like, the, you can take 14. 14. Yeah. It gets the job done. Yeah, I guess it does. Look. Activate Black Whirlwind out of being salty. Turn Bora to defense position and pass. Um, what? I think this Are actually. You... I think this actually is mandatory. This goes off. Oh wait, yeah, you decrease by five hundred. That's yeah, fine. Uh, that means I get. Do, is it only negated or do it's, I negate it's all, it's, all, it's negated. Okay. So I um, guess I'll put a counter on it to signify that it's negated. That way I know. Summon Spirit Reaper. Oh gosh. I Okay, I'm just gonna hit this button right here. <laughs> Dad was in my hand. Dad uh, was in my hand. <laughs> if it yeah. weren't for the Reaper, I was fine. <laughs> uh, Literally, Reaper fine. was the one out. <laughs> You weren't fine. I was completely fine. It's... Dad pop lad is pretty sick. I mean, though, lad would pop dad before dad even resolved. How? Well, it would negate it. No, it wouldn't. It gets spells and traps. I thought it was monster effects as well. No, just spells and traps. Oh. Yeah, no, dad was fine. <laughs> mm. Yeah, don't worry. I haven't completely lost my mind yet, but I'm getting there. <laughs> I mean, that's entirely fair. Play around mechanize. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Potter Greed. Ah, uh, bitch. I haven't been able to activate that in a while. Set that. Jesus. Activate uh, Black Whirlwind. Normal Shura. Got any more fucking spells and traps you want to activate? <laughs> uh, let's search. I guess I guess the smart thing is search like the loot or Gale. No, the smart thing is search Gale. Because nah. here's the fun part: I have Bora in hand, <laughs> and then Bora search. You know what? I'm gonna search Kalut probably. Yeah, Kalut's solid. Hmm. And then special gale. Search. What am I searching now? Uh. I guess there is only one thing I can search off of this, and that's Vayu. So I'm still, still not playing it. Mistral. I still find it funny that you'd rather play Vayu than play Mistral. I mean, Vayu's pretty sick. Eh. Mistral the goat, though. Come on now. Be real. Like. It's a uh, banish this and one other black queen from your grave, and then synchro. Eh, it's not like there's an Edison deck built around that. Yeah, totally not like there's a whole Vayu deck in Edison. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, why would there ever be that? Uh, anyways, uh, that's what seven. Yeah. Yeah, that's seven. Or I could do eleven. I know damn well you do not have an 11. 
I know damn well we don't have elevens right now. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> so, Bora to grave, Gale to grave. Armor you master. know what I'm summoning. It's Armor Master. Part of me was hoping you were a, part of me was hoping you were a black rose yourself. That would be funny, but I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> yeah, why not? All right, and then let's end. If it'll ever, hey, dueling book. There we go. Mm, this would be really funny if I actually had a follow-up play. We're gonna play that. And, you know, I think I'm just gonna pass turn there. Alrighty. Hey, another card to set. I like that. Jesus Christ. Uh... Mm, now I'm actually doing some big thinking. Careful. My uncle hurt himself doing that once. I hurt myself doing that a lot. It's fine. shouldn't do that that's stupid uh you know what i forgot that i still had this guy in deck double x saver full helm knight another seven maybe i thought about it i thought about it because i do have more sevens don't i yeah herbellum's a seven huh yeah huh it's not a spoiler that i have that I mean, we kind of showed that off a while ago. Yeah. But also, is that a bottomless face down? <laughs> You'll never know. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> it was a bottomless. <laughs> it was a bottomless. <laughs> you were waiting for it. <laughs> you were like, I was hoping you would fall into it. <laughs> Which, fair, I guess. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna hit this nice button right here. Woo! Yeah, I just... Probably playing was that, was that Was that face down bottomless? Yep. I, I had a feeling. Uh... Turn. Okay, okay. Don't have anything this turn, but I do have a follow up next turn. Oh, that's <laughs> something. Okay. Uh, that's gonna be Spirit Reaper. Uh, Pot of Greed. Oh, that's pretty sick. For someone who says they don't get this card that often, you sure do be <sighs> getting it often. Uh, just this episode, apparently. In the fucking Allure of Darkness that I hope you whiff on. Oh, no, 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 no. We're not whiffing out here. Uh, anyways, normal summon Sirocco. Oh, I should have activated this first, but you know what? I'm a little bit stupid. Yeah. Yeah. Special summon Bora. We're gonna search Kalut. Special summon Gale. Okay. Uh, I, I think you know what's going on here. Do you, though? I said I think you know what's going on here, not that I know. Nah, you're, you're, you're chugging over there. What? I don't know. Huh? <laughs> I'm so confused. Good. Wait a second. Oh, that's only when normal summoned. Wait a second, Black Whirlwind just says when normal summoned. We've been playing it wrong this entire time. I've been playing it right this entire time. You've been playing it wrong. No, we've both been playing it wrong. I ah, there's footage <laughs> that shows me clearly stating that it's only on normal summon. Really? Yeah. Am I stupid? Yes. <laughs> I'll put that Kalut back in deck. Well, <laughs> yeah, I'll put that Kalut back in deck. <laughs> it didn't happen. <laughs> it didn't happen. It was never there. The Kalut that never was. Exactly. You know what? I'm not gonna go to battle yet. I've got an idea. Uh. Do you though? 
Yes. A uh, Sirocco effect? Turn on black and monster control. You touch your hand. Where's the clear Except button? Itself. Yeah, target armor master. Okay, so it gains 2,000. So it's at 4,500. Okay. I'll just remember that. Hit into your face down. Is it Spirit Reaper? No, it's Tribune. I mean, 45. Okay. 45 direct, yeah. Alright. Alright. End of turn, it goes back to 2,500. Uh, standby. Wait a second. Hold up. Go back. Uh, only take 25 instead of 45. Gain a 2,000. Because I just realized something. If I do that attack gain, only it can attack. So just uh, gain that 2,000. There we go. Ah, gotcha. Anyway. Uh, standby. Treeborn. Yeah. Um. Hmm. I got a couple plays here. What's going to be the most impactful, though? I think I know what's going to be the most impactful. <clears throat> so, I'm going to tribute off... Nah, do I do that? Nah. So, I'm going to activate Soul Extreme. Right. Okay. Target your armor master. Tribute that. Yeah. Summon Mobius. And then pop my back row. Pop your black whirlwind. Go to battle. Take four. Yep. Pass. This deck is insane, by the way. This deck is insane, by the way. When it cooks, it fucking cooks. Blizzard. Oh, that poor Blizzard. Uh. Special. Alright, what sixes do I have? Wait a second, I know what sixes I have. I'm going. Unless I have more sixes. Arndwing doesn't do much for me in this case, but you know. Neither does Brianak. <sighs> there is Brianak. Oh, wait a second. I have a fun play. Is it Iron Chain Dragon? Well. <laughs> no, it's not, because I don't have Iron Chain Dragon. Uh, How? It was a rare. I don't have Iron Chain. It came with your copy of the Progression series. No, it didn't. <laughs> no, it didn't. <laughs> I am apparently the only person who has not pulled Iron Chain Dragon. <laughs> so I've actually got two options here, and I'm debating on which one is more profitable for me. Can they, uh, beat, can they beat over a Mobius? I mean, Brio bounces Mobius back. Yeah, I know, but I'm playing Frognark. <laughs> And it also bounces your frog back if I discard both cards from hand because Brio's doesn't have a once per turn right now. I mean, my statement still stands. I'm playing frog narc. But I have another monster that does gain 300 attack when it inflicts battle damage to your opponent and deals piercing battle damage. Is so I could beat passes? over the treeborn, become 2400, and then force you to trade your Mobius. Which actually is not a bad idea. Are you going to keep edging me or are you going to bring it out? See, I'm thinking about which play <laughs> is better for me, though. <laughs> I think the the smarter play is probably Brio. <laughs> Discard both cards from hand. Bounce both of your cards on field back to hand. To hand. To hand. 23 direct. 23 direct. Go for it. Instant fusion. Yep, go ahead. Make that uh, strange fusion monster again. Practical baby from the McDonald's promo pack. <laughs> That's so funny. Anyway. Uh, tribute that. Mobius. I had a feeling that was the, that was gonna happen. Here. So I have a follow-up play. <laughs> oh dang it! <laughs> and since I haven't used my normal summon yet this turn, <laughs> be like that. Oh, 
That's pretty sick. I don't hey, know why I'm viewing your grave. Yeah, the, the, <laughs> yeah, my yeah, hands that, out of there. yeah, that right, yeah, get that practical, baby. <laughs> the true thing here is, uh, grab armor master. Mm. Beat over that face down. Throwing Ted in. Sweet. <laughs> uh, I did attack a monster, but you don't get a wedge counter because that monster is dead. Set. Good. This is all part Set. of the, this is all part of the plan. Are you milling me out? No. I'm bringing a treeborn. Oh yeah. Uh, tribute treeborn. Okay. Dark dust spirit. Premium face. This car's normal summoner flip face up. Not if I do this first and pop it myself. And then pop your dark dust spirit. Okay. Everything to grave. Yeah, I'm just waiting on Dueling Book to respond. Same here. You know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna browse my phone while it loads. There we go. The moment you say that, it's like no, the fuck you're not. There we go. Dueling Book's been a little bit of a pain in the ass lately. Yeah, a little bit. All right. Uh, Treeborn. Treeborn dies again to bring out another <laughs> Mobius. Ah! Take 24. Yeah, baby. Graceful. Better be the best three draws of your life. It's not. <laughs> it's not. Sure, uh, FST. <laughs> sure, it's what you kept. Hey, guess what? What? He's back. There it is. And guess what? What? This is what we call stalling. Oh, so when I play burn, it's a problem. When you start stalling, it's a-okay. Because that's not the main goal of my deck. <laughs> Likely story. Alright, there's a few things that just end the game right now. <laughs> that's gonna be one of them, probably. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 24. I'm not dead yet. <laughs> so I think I can end it in the most roundabout way possible. How? To grave. All right. Dark Dust Spirit. Go ahead. Last will. Dang it! I don't think I have enough to actually kill you, kill you, but I do. Oh, I can't summon that out. Damn it! Bitch! <laughs> I was gonna gotta lock you! Uh, fuck. Yeah, you can't, you can't yada off a of last will. Ah, uh, fucking swap frog. Fine. If I got up to Claire Effect, I think I still have one more. Ch one more frog left in deck. I'm just gonna go ahead and take my thousand. Yeah, I got the swap frog. A fucking bullshit ass church. Summon shit. anything. Summon anything. Well, actually, my trigger horns go off. That is true. Okay. Do you not have any monarchs in hand? Nope. 
Yeah! I'm curious, what was my next draw? This is torrential. <laughs> and then the other card was... Uh, I was my grip consisted of a soul exchange, a s come on, dueling book, really a soul exchange, and an econ. Yeah, I should have done Urquizus instead of Brianak because that still would have forced you to trade off your Mobius eventually, and it would have forced us into a standstill. Yeah, but I wouldn't have sacrificed all the resources in my hand to do it. Yeah, this deck is stupid. I hate that Uruquizus actually would have come up. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what else was I running in here that you didn't see? Oh yeah, I cited this in. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it's a good card for this deck. I don't know what you You're... want from me. I mean, I'm gonna be definitely be playing Frognark now that I remembered that it's a thing because I love Frognark. I love it dearly. <laughs> I mean, I this forgot. deck is stupid. This deck is so dumb. It's so good, though. It's the brickiest hand to ever fucking brick. You either draw that gas is or draw nothing. That that is that is actually very true. You either live or die by your opening hand. Hell, I'm only running the Rodent Totem to facilitate uh, the Swap Frogs getting stuck in the graveyard. Yeah, you got a point. You've got a point, I guess. What's the next set? Duelist Revolution. Yo, is it, aren't all the duelist sets like good? All the green duelist sets, baby, they are all game changing. What's in dual rev? Let's I find out. I think effect veiler. Yo, no way. And I think pot of duality. Are you sure the card you're looking for is not unibird? Pretty sure. Pretty sure it's not unibird. Scrap Archfiend is a card that exists in this world, I guess. I mean, we have enough generic double Scrap sevens. Scrap Dragon is a card that exists in this world. I mean, I'm looking at my extra deck with three generic level sevens. I'm not too excited for Scrap Archfiend. You got a point there, yeah. What if it's the Black Dragon. Rose Dragon? Scrap Dragon, though. I think I actually have all the Signer Dragons except for Red Dragon Archfiend. I don't remember what all Signer Dragons I've got, if I'm being honest with you. I mean, I got Stardust out of Gold Series, I got Blackwing Dragon out of Shining Darkness, and then everything else I got during their main sets, so... Yeah, I've got... Don't I have Blackwing Dragon? No, I don't! That's I mean, depressing. Not, I mean, it's not the best card, but it's a funny card. It is pretty funny. Yeah. I mean, but we'll, hey. we'll get it in a while anyways, because eventually we'll hit uh, Crow Pack. Is it in Crow's Pack? I don't think it is. Is it not? I don't know. But, I digress. Join us next time when we go in and start our Duelist Revolution.